Hello. <laughs> Welcome to NAB 2018. I'm Joe O'Halloran, Editor-in-Chief of Rapid TV News. And I'm here with Mike Antanovich, CEO of USOSA Americas. Welcome to our video, Mike. Thank you, Joe. Glad to be here. How would you describe what's been happening in the broadcast industry over the last four months or so? Well, it's, it's a very interesting time because it's really about new implementations of technology and the changes of what the, what the broadcasters are looking for from everything from event production to television distribution, um, involving um, everything from higher order modulation to support more throughput on satellites to more IP ingest of content and the various and sundry ways we marry satellite and hybrid fiber networks to pull these things together. Now it's fair to say the chaos in the use industry has changed and certainly right. much for the better over the last 12 months. Right. What's this doing for users of America is in addressing these guys' needs? Right, well it's one of the places that we can enter the market very quickly. There's not a lot of long lead time lag that given our long-term relationships in the media and broadcast marketplace to, to have these relationships. We're doing some things a little differently where we have some customers who are taking bandwidth on consignment. They're doing their own carrier access and management, so we're shortening the lead time to, from booking access and delivery of services, so it's just speeding up their implementations. And the technologies and services and implementations you described, how are they reflected by what you have here at NAB? Well, we're showing some really new technologies, one of which is our smart beam service, which is really a distribution technology, but it's using essentially a multiplex of HLS encoded video signals formatted for direct delivery over Wi-Fi networks to phones and tablets. As more and more consumers want a mobile experience and a personalized experience, they're running into the contention you have on, on public internet or IP services where the, the, the the virtue of the smart beam platform is everyone's getting a live simultaneous stream of the same content in a non-contended, low latency, high quality environment, which is using what satellites do best. They do two things very, very well. The one to the one to many and the any to any. This serves the one to many in that for everybody watching, whether it's English Premier League, Formula One, Major League Football, um, baseball or football, they want that live stream. They don't want it buffered, they don't want it contended. So this is a way for everyone to get that high quality experience. I'm not dealing with the latency issue. Is that going to be a key differentiator as you go forward next year? Into it's IP, everything these days. Right, but but the, the challenge right now is it's actually the transcoding from a broadcast format into a low bit rate um, HLS stream for the market, that's the driver. There's more latency in that than there is satellite versus fiber. And especially if we're talking a streaming service, live news, sports, and weather, um, it's all about the immediacy of the delivery. And it's more about guaranteed or, or, or standardized latency. Because then you can back up your broadcast feeds and, and, and augment and time these signals together, and then you can create enhanced experiences. You could imagine a car race scenario where you're personalized with the driver cam and his, and his instrument set and the audio from the pit crew while you're still watching the live broadcast in a very synchronized way. So you could pick your driver, you're still watching the national broadcast, and everybody could have this mix of a personalized experience with the mass experience. It suggests really there's going to be a lot of change over the next 12 months. Oh, it, well, change is inevitable. Um, and, and we're seeing a lot of it in, in the transmission technologies and, and really the go-to-market strategies. If there's one um, across the board change, across video, across data in the satellite business, it's the move away from a megahertz approach to it buying bandwidth, okay, to a megabits model, which is really about a service layer and a service architecture. In the Utilsat model, it's about packaging solutions with our transmission partners, our, 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 our data network resellers, our teleports, our truck operators, as part of a go-to-market strategy that's very partner friendly. Well, we look forward to seeing you. And thank you again, Mike. My pleasure, Joe. And thank you for watching.